There are things that you do every day that make your back pain worse. But there's one thing that we're doing more now than ever that could really be holding you back from living pain-free. And there are things you can do to make sure that you prevent it. So this is about that one thing, and it's really, it's sitting. And it's why sitting is potentially the worst thing for your back and what you need to do about it. It's not hard to do. The reason sitting is so bad is what we call creep. It's ligamentous creep that slowly softens up the disc. Discs are very durable, but if you sit a lot, the discs technically get softer. And the softening of the disc is what leads to all the problems that prevent you from getting better. The bulging disc, the degenerated disc, the herniated disc, the protruded disc. All back pain comes from the disc, and if your disc is getting softer from sitting, you are going to have trouble. Typical spine looks like this, 24 vertebrae between the head and the hips. The vertebrae are the bones, in between each bone there is a disc. Disc acts like a shock absorber. Also, the disc is a lot like a jelly donut, and this is important because when you sit for long periods of time and the annulus, the thicker portion, creeps or gets weaker and starts to get looser or softens up, the nucleus can start to move. So it looks like this. Outer portion is the annulus. The inner portion of the disc is the nucleus. This is jelly. The disc is like a jelly donut. And what can happen is, well, as the stress goes through the center of the nucleus, the stresses are distributed evenly in all directions on the annulus. But what happens when you're in the seated position is it causes the spine to start to flatten out. And when the spine starts to flatten from the seated position, the ligaments creep and they get weaker. So, a normal spine would look like this from the side view. So what we're seeing here is this position just like this. It's called the lordotic curve. The lumbar curve is your lordosis in this position right here. But when you're seated, it starts to straighten out. So ideally, you want this curve. But what happens is, whoops, what happened? Where did it go? Oh, <laughs> I got this. So what happens is, is it starts to straighten out, just like that. And what we know, which is the slide I had right here, is 20 minutes in the seated position starts to create some laxity. Where is the laxity? The laxity would be back here in this part of your spine. And when this part of the spine starts to get lax, the vertebrae start to push forward a little bit. You lose that lordosis. And as you lose that lordosis, what happens is if a healthy lordosis or if a healthy disc is like this, as it starts to bend forward here, it starts to push the disc back. So the annulus starts to get a little bit weaker. It starts to get a little bit softer. And as the annulus starts to get softer, you'll start to develop some inflammation in the annulus. Inflammation creates more weakness. So it perpetuates on itself. It starts to get a little bit worse. And then you start to develop the little tears. So in that seated position, the ligaments in the back starts to stretch out 
and loosen up and get a little bit softer, the vertebrae starts to go forward. It'll start to push the disc out. Looks like this, pushing out, a little bit of tear. Sometimes starts with a bulge. Sometimes progressively gets worse to a herniation. Sometimes it'll rupture all the way through. Here's the problem. 20 minutes of sitting allows for the ligaments to get looser, get the laxity. In some cases, it requires 30 minutes of rest to go back to normal, to regain its normal stiffness. 20 minutes it takes to get soft, 30 minutes it takes to get stiffness. We live in an environment now where we're sitting more often. And as we're sitting more often, that disc can start to work its way all the way through. Here's the issue. We're sitting 12 hours a day. New study in this pandemic world that we live in. We're sitting for 12 hours. So if 20 minutes creates softness of the disc and it's required 30 minutes to regain its normal stiffness, it's not enough time during the day. Because if you sit for 12 hours, then you need more time than those 12 hours for it to stiffen up. There's only 24 hours in a day. That's the problem. That's the biggest problem. Why is back pain on the rise? Why do more people have back pain? Why is disability from back pain on the rise? Sitting. This is the worst thing for your back. Matter of fact, it's not just bad for your back, it's bad for your health. Sitting is the new smoking, meaning sitting is bad for your health. In some cases, it's worse than smoking. It affects your insulin resistance. A lot of people now in this pandemic are having problems with their insulin resistance which leads to a host of other problems, including heart disease and diabetes and obesity. But here's how you fix it. You fix it by setting a timer on your phone. Every 30 minutes, you're gonna do the stretch in the chair. Every hour, get up out of your chair and walk around. That's the key. You need to get out of the chair. Break up your sitting pattern. Break up your sitting habits. Sit in a position that's going to alleviate some of the stress on the discs. When you lean back just a little bit, 105 degrees, it's 110% pressure. So it's not a lot more. It's the most relaxed position of your spine. Oh, 100, no, so this is, I'm sorry, this is 110 degrees off center, and it's 105% pressure, so it's a little bit more pressure, but when you sit at 90, 90 degrees, and some people say, oh, sit up straight, well, sitting up straight is bad, okay, well, it's not as bad as leaning forward, but it adds more pressure than leaning back just a little bit, so you have to sit in a position where you're unloading the disc a little bit less Okay, find the position that's best for you. So you set your timer, you do the stretch in the chair, you get up, move around every hour, you find a position in the chair that is 110 degrees, leaning back just a little bit. Another thing, discs can become thicker. Studies show that if you add load to the disc, the disc becomes thicker. It makes more sense. Why? Yoga, people who do yoga, yogis, have the most flexible discs. They're pliable, they're softer, okay? If there's no heavy load, then you're gonna be just fine. Weightlifters have the least flexible discs, why? 
because they lift weights all day long. You get under a thousand pounds and you're a yogi, it'll crush you. But if you do this all day every day, the discs get thicker and the bones get thicker. So there are certain things that you can do to increase the thickness of the disc. Add load. We start by walking. This is why we have you do the walking in our program. Thickens up the disc, reactivates the muscles, gets the blood flowing into the disc. Discs require motion to get blood flow. You're seated in a chair, you get zero blood flow really to anything. When you get up, you move around, you're going to get blood flow into the disc. Those discs will physically get stronger. If you have a bulging disc and the disc is soft, get out of the chair, start to move, and eventually as you get stronger, add load. Those discs will get better. You don't have to live with the back pain. We can help you, okay? Don't sit too long. That's the key. If you're interested in our program, we have a program called 10X. Why is it 10X? Because it's 10 times better. It walks you through step by step what you have to do every day. Sitting is one of them, walking is one of them, but reactivating the muscles of your core, of your hips, your shoulders, glute medius, glute maximus, stretch your calves, quadratus lumborum, all of it. It's all there, step by step by step by step. Took 30 years to put this thing together. Every week you get new videos. We progress you through a sequence of events to make your back stronger and make your back and your discs stronger. You sign up, it's $47 a month. Every week it's a new set of exercises. Boom, fixes back pain strengthens the discs, prevents those discs from getting soft. Nobody wants a soft disc. It's good for your back, makes you better. It's exercises, it's the only way out. Sign up, get your life back. That's it, I'm out. You gotta go eat, I'm getting hungry.